Part 2. Silver Snow. Guardian Moon. A king without a kingdom. Having parted ways with Edelgard, former students of the Black Eagle House now work alongside the Knights of Saros at Garrig Mach. They begin to create a resistance army strong enough to take on her Imperial forces. Their classes, is that going to be different? Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess you lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you, but I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Seth told us everything. From here on out, you will have our aid. I am so grateful that everyone is safe. I am sorry things are moving so rapidly. There is something we must discuss. Come with me. The time has come to make our true stand against the Empire. Our base will be Garrig Mach Monastery. The interior is in less than prime condition, but we should be able to utilize it much the same as we had before. Surely those Imperial jerks have this place staked out, right? It's yeah. a highly strategic location. It may be an area of importance, but it is far removed from the front lines. Considering the burden of transport, it is possible they are not paying too much attention to it. Nothing escapes the Emperor. There must at least be a spy or two. Professor, what do you think? Your concern is valid. However, the town and surrounding hamlets are still present. And though far from abundant, the church still has funds at its disposal. That's true. Professor, That's I think true. we can leave expanding our army to my brother. He was always good at negotiating, and I believe he is best suited to the task. In that case, I have a request. Please allow my soldiers to join your ranks as well. House Sire already tried taking on the Emperor. As a result, our territory was stolen from us. As a consequence, I do not have many soldiers left to speak of. But those I have are yours to command. I feel like I should tell you that I've been protecting some kids who lost their parents in the war. I'm surprised his leadership isn't considered good, because... Well, anyway, They're in the for town obvious right reasons. Now, but maybe we can move them to the monastery? I'm sure they'd be happy to chip in however they can. Yes, I understand. I will make the necessary arrangements. I nabbed some valuables from my house. Father is with the Emperor now, so... It's not much, but it's yours. Hmm. I, I don't have a thing to contribute. In fact, I'm still in my same old clothes. Wait, what? I've been wandering on my own for five years. I won't go back to that house or my father, that's for sure. I understand. Leave it to me. No labor is too great if it means saving Fodlan. This may seem a bit sudden, but I want to thank you, Professor. That is, for letting me live my life the way I want. I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul-revealing gazes lately. I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spend my time with. Hey, real. Whoa. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> if you say so. But I notice you doing it all the same. It's kind of sweet in its own way. <laughs> Professor. May I tell you a story about when I was younger? Okay, whatever. I was an orphan, living in the back alleys of Enbar, until one day I was overheard singing. That was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Frank Opera Company. Performers, nobility. I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. 
I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice, and they showered me with gifts, I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade, my voice would change. I wouldn't sound the same. And I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? I'd be old, alone, and back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. Can't you save your money? You can never be certain about what the future will bring. I never had much to begin with in life, and I worry that one day I'll be that way again. That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Someone unaware of the songsters. Who can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. Hope you meet him. Well, that's a tone sift. It's like... <laughs> that conversation should have taken place a little earlier, I think. That's interesting. I wonder who that could be. Well, first off... I guess that's for us, right? Yeah. Jeez. Flame! There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, you worry too much, brother. I think a kidnapping is good cause for concern. I was so worried about you, I nearly fainted. Had that not happened, I would have never been allowed to join the professor's class. Even from something so dire, some good did come of it. That is a dangerous attitude. This world is full of peril. You must be more vigilant. Please understand, I allowed you to enroll here only because I thought it best for your safety. I am very much aware of that. You wanted to speak to me of something? Yes, my dear little sister. You are kind beyond all measure, and you are the very picture of innocence. But precisely because of these very fine qualities, I worry about your interactions with the others here. The youths of our army are particularly eccentric. As your brother, it is my duty to help you with any concerns you may have. I do appreciate the offer, but all the students and professors have treated me exceptionally well. Even so, there must be at least some worry. Please, you need not conceal anything from me. You worry far too much. There is truly nothing to share, and nothing for you to fret over. Are you absolutely sure? The idea of you suffering in silence is unbearable to me. Enough! I made it clear that nothing is wrong. I stand by my word. Well, there is one concern that comes to mind. What is it? Tell me. I will help however I can. <laughs> I have this annoying a brother. Somebody yeah. who seems determined to get in the way of my friendships with my classmates. What? That's horrible. Fear not. I will handle this scoundrel for you. His name Just is Seth. His name. And it's your own way. It is you, brother. Now then, I must be on it my way. It is you, brother. Flame getting at just now. Let's see, I was speaking to her. I asked her to share her concerns, and was there something else? <laughs> no matter. Fear not, Flame. Your brother will protect you from all harm. He's very strict, but he's really a sweetheart. But uh Yeah, it's it's a little awkward to do these now, but if I don't, then we could miss out on supports. Like, gaining hmm. support Where level. Has it anyway. Gone? Lynn, you got a minute? Oh, Dorothea, are you done being alone? Please, don't say it like that. I let the gossipers get to me, and I snapped at you. Can you forgive me? <sighs> it's... It's really weird to have the, uh, Dorothea. That that was five years ago. 
You have my forgiveness, although I remember no wrongdoing on your part. Oh, well... It was five years ago. Thank you, I guess. So, do you feel better? About the gossip? <laughs> Not even a little bit. I... I need someone to talk to, and I figure it should be you. Oh? Okay. What is it? About the things that those soldiers were saying. The truth is, I agree with them. As selfish as I am, I curried favor with a noble so I could enroll here. An orphan like me, here. Crazy, right? And now to be leading troops as one of the professor's generals? I'm way out of my league. Oh, so do they add that for if you're if it's taking place post time skip? I'm doing the best I can, of course, but sometimes I wonder if it's enough. It's still really awkward though, because they're they're the way they're phrasing it, it's like the conversation took place yesterday or so, and the way we did the paralogs, that's not how it was. Dorothea, if I may offer a bit of advice, you have no reason to face anything you do not wish to. If the past distresses you, then just let it go. It's as simple as that. But it's my past. You can't escape your past. You've probably overcome a lot of tough times, haven't you? I think that's incredible, really, but... Why not just let go of the suffering and run away from the memories that cause you pain? I suspect you'll find it a better way of living. I know I do. That's not living, Lynn. That's running away. If I leave my hardships behind, then all of that means nothing. Good point. Well said. Yet, I propose ignoring your past changes nothing of who you are today. I see before me a great woman. Who should not be bothered by idle gossip. Aw, oh, sucks. Even if you dropped everything and took a nap for a thousand years, you would still be you. <laughs> what an example. I don't quite get it, but I am a bit envious of you. Still, I can't live the way you do. At least try it. Go take a nap where a noble will see you. Give them something to talk about. <laughs> Maybe I will. I guess it's kind of funny though. So there's that. Hmm. Oh, is that Sedith? Wow, he looks really deep in thought. I wonder what he's writing. A secret diary, maybe? That phrase doesn't quite work, does it? Let's see about an alternative. Oh, is this... Hmm. Too uncertain for a diary. Maybe it's a letter. Or a poem. Oh, that's bound to introduce misunderstanding. Precision is the key. It must be really important if he's putting that much thought into every word. But I mustn't overcomplicate things either. Parting words ought to be precise. Parting? It's a farewell letter? <gasps> is he writing his resignation? Sedith can be a little scary sometimes, but I hope he doesn't leave. It'd be sad to see him go. Yeah, especially since we just rallied. Uh, I'm guessing that that's inner monologue, though. Like, she's speaking it out loud, but it, this isn't the kind of thing you'd ponder aloud right behind them, would you? He shouldn't make such rash decisions. If he's unhappy about something, he should tell someone. Come now. Do you really think I would resign? Okay, never mind. You... you heard all that? If you don't wish to be heard talking to yourself, then you should not speak so loudly. I'm sorry to hear that you find me intimidating. Uh, I just... Uh, I'm sorry! I won't disturb you ever again! Wait, Bernadetta! <laughs> I'm sorry Enough. to hear you find me intimidating. Typical behavior for the girl. Most concerning. Can she really go through life this way? You'd think she would have grown up in these five years. Ah, even with the fires of war raging all around us, tea never fails to soothe the soul. 
Do you not agree, Bernadetta? Um, I hadn't actually thought about it, but yes. Excellent. Oh, that reminds me. Wait a second. Did that just say? Fires of war raging all around us. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that? A long time ago, my parents were in talks to arrange my marriage with a certain young lady. Wait a second. She never set foot outside of her room. And she made little dolls to curse her perceived enemies. Such were the rumors. Frightened, I dissuaded my parents from going through with their plans. I can see that. She does sound pretty frightening. That girl was you. What? I don't make dolls to curse people. You are a skilled embroiderer, no? I guess I was wrong. You were not making dolls. I did make dolls, but cute ones. Nice little carnivorous plants and things. Ah, hmm. Maybe I should not have brought this up. This Why is an A support conversation, right? Plants are adorable. Uh huh. Yes, adorable. Anyway, if I had actually known you, I would have accepted the proposal. Um, why? Did you have some scheme in mind? No, I just mean, now that I have gotten to know you, I would have been happy to... So, you're saying you... with me? <laughs> uh, it's getting kinda hot in here, isn't it? Maybe, um, maybe it's the tea. Why are you getting so worked up? That was all a long time ago now. A long time ago? Yes. Now we are soldiers fighting together in the same great conflict, right? And my parents are gone. So any agreements they might have cooked up would be completely invalid. I guess so. Just think. If we had been married, we would not have been able to build such a deep friendship. That's true. Yeah, we never would have gotten this close. I would have given up on the relationship my parents chose for me and shut myself away even more. So all in all, I am glad I refused to marry that doll-cursing princess. Hey! I said I never made cursed dolls! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I am just glad to have met you at the monastery. I had better take my leave. We should have tea together again sometime soon. Yeah, um, see you. I'm glad we met here, too. <laughs> Just in case, I'm going to... start over from here if that meant something bad. Bad for me, that is. Good day, Ferdinand. Working on your armor again? Good day to you, too. That is right. I have been overusing it a bit lately. Now, allow me to wager a guess. Are you feeling hungry, as usual? As usual? It is not as though I am always searching for a meal. I just... I am rather interested in armor. Do you mind if I peer over your shoulder while you work? Of course not. Please, feel free to observe. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure. Oh, so many different types. Wow, helmets, armor, gauntlets. The range of defensive items seems innumerable. This one seems different from the rest of them. It is akin to a gauntlet, except... Flame, careful! Huh? Oh! Flame, are you alright? Did you injure yourself? I am well. But what was that? That could have been serious. Uh, please forgive me. I should have warned you first. Uh, this is a new type of gauntlet with a spring-loaded blade over the knuckles. The mechanism is rather easily triggered. Uh, how foolish of me not to warn you. 
No, I am the one who was overly curious and reached out without permission. My apologies. But, um, when you snatched me out of harm's way, you, er, you embraced me quite tightly. Ah, uh, yes. You were in danger and my instinct simply took hold. I hope you will forgive my rashness. No, it is yeah, not go after flame. It is just... You hugged me so tight. Uh, did it hurt? I am so sorry, Flame. I did not mean to cause you any discomfort. Not at all. Not, not in the slightest. Anyway, I had better be on my way. Such a delicate creature. And that sweet demeanor. Yeah, snap out no, of it, don't. Man. Hello, Professor Manuela. I wish you to know that I have heard ever so much about your talents. <laughs> Whatever are you talking about, Flame? Singing! Why, you are you are wonderfully skilled at it, are you not? Why, I have even overheard people saying your voice is akin to the singing of a goddess. It makes me happy to hear. But who told you that? Oh, the students are always speaking of it. Which got me to thinking, I may be the only person in all of the Academy who's never heard your beautiful voice in song. So, I was wondering, Manuela, might you sing a little something for me? Your request is touching, but I can't perform on such short notice. My voice is an instrument and requires proper gentle care. She never heard her sing during chapel? However, the stories are true. I was once the leader of the Middle Franc troupe, but that was a long time ago. Middle Franc? Um, what do those words mean precisely? You've never heard of the Middle Franc troupe? Before the war, it was the single most popular opera company in the Imperial capital. I used to sing on stage with them. I was the star, in fact. Oh, wow. In all of Enbar? They must not have been around when I was living there. You used to live in Enbar? Indeed. Although I was quite a bit younger at the time. It is where I was born, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, you must have been too young to hear about us. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that could be. And what precisely is the function of an opera troupe? You don't know what an opera troupe is? Well, it's a group of performers like myself who act out stories on stage in front of a big audience. Stories with lots of singing. Oh, I, I understand now. I certainly have experience in the fine art of storytelling. There is often singing as a part of story time for the children at the monastery. That is darling flame. But I'm not sure it's quite the same thing as an opera. You see, operas are performed in grand theaters with orchestral accompaniment. Everyone attending wears their finest. It is a very special occasion. Theaters, they're called? You mean to say that there are buildings exclusively used for telling stories? You've never even heard of a theater? You're an intelligent girl, Flame, and the world is full of wonders. You have a lot left to discover. That is weird. Oh, they're all with him? Oh, so it seems. Well, in that case, uh, let's look at said something about people's classes. I also want to look at their ages. He's still a paladin. 23. He's still pretty young. Just not uh, teenagers. I upgraded him to grappler, didn't I? Yeah, 
think so. This is one of the younger ones, although she looks kind of older in some ways. Ah. Okay, so these guys are still in our group, even though, I guess because they're not store important, because they're not black eagles. <laughs> Was he 51 earlier? Oh, they're about the same age. years ago he was 17 he was 15 isn't he a little sword for a 15 year old I thought he was a lot younger than that hmm. and he's still a commoner well, anyway, what I was gonna do is look at this and see who can get upgraded hey wait a second Hasn't finished this. I'll use this power to shape my future. I may as well take care of it now. I must have accident. Was he the one I accidentally reclassed when I upgrade when I he took the exam? A new challenge that will be overcome. Hmm. I suppose we'll do. Uh, I'll look at that later. Ooh. I guess this is pretty much the same. Any new battalions? Now that it's five years later? Probably not, I guess. Oh, we got some A's. Is anybody an A though? Maybe Seteth. Evil Repelling Core. Black Eagle Heavy Axes. Let's see, Powerful Lightning Magic. Oh, that's pretty interesting. 105 uses. Or rather, uh, that's their endurance. Ah, and he finished commoner. We just need to upgrade him then. Wow, he got away. But was he already at B? Okay, okay, Bernadetta. That's A. Was that about the same as it was before the time skip? I guess so. B, C, C plus, D plus. Oh, B plus. Okay, so we can hire the, well, he isn't. He's also B plus. So, we can't actually use any A's. We have the professor level to hire them. But we just can't use them just yet. Random shot. What does that do? What do they use? They're warriors. Do they use axes? Ooh, we can buy silver. I'm not sure how I'd want to give it to you, though. All right, let's look into that master class now. Not that kind of master class. Obviously, that's not quite for him. Be great.
great night, right? Yeah, he's at 27%. Wait, is he even able to... It's not, like, filled in very well. <laughs> Here we go again with that. But I think we'll be patient this time. Her riding, I suppose, isn't nearly good enough. It's not awful, though. See? Yeah, she can just outright do it. I guess that's who they meant. Looks rather fitting. I passed things to you, Professor. That's not Sains yet, though. At least I don't, she shouldn't be ready, I don't think. And then her. I have no idea what to do with her. I guess I'll just go for Wyvern Lord, right? Oh, 10%. I suppose he's on a good path. Hmm. Well, if she can't do that just yet... Man, what is her faith at? Oh, she's super duper close. But even so... I guess I'll just change her to Dancer then. Now as for you... I guess there's no chance, no reason to do that. Yeah, he's more of a brigand, I suppose. He uses the I axe passed. too. I think so. Yeah, we don't really need to. Well, some of those beginner skills are actually pretty good, I think. So maybe. We, eh, oh well. Actually, now that I think about it. I wish they could they tell you what skills you could get for it. Oh, right. Well, we'll think about that later, I guess. I guess he wouldn't do Master anyway. I guess he could go Hero. We could do that on the way to getting... Uh, yeah, I remember what I wanted for him. I want Savant. It's a reason to only need to be B+. He's not very close to that, but I can't think of anything else I'd want him to do. Which means right now... Well, right now we'd want to focus on Axe and Magic as much as possible. <laughs> they, yeah, things really haven't changed much around here, even though they probably should have. St. Seros Day. Um, we still have that stuff of eating. Restore the monastery. I wonder how exactly we do that. I'm really excited to look through Garrick Mock. Uh, see what the what's is. But uh, in the meantime. look this over one more time.
luck of this. Well, let's see. We'll see how that goes. I guess there wasn't anybody else. It's got HP plus five, and that's pretty important. Well, I guess we're done with that. Uh, maybe I should think about people's goals, though. Probably good. Oh, I was supposed to, I wanted to look at what that is. Oh, okay. She has a crest too, huh? Frequent too. That's interesting. 22. She's a higher level. That doesn't make a sense. Oh, wait, it does make sense because she was a higher level one when she got recruited. He's 26. How does that compare? Alright, well, I don't think there's any more inventory stuff to do, so let's take a look. Yeah. Maybe next week would be better. Probably not, but... That's morale. This is Sweet Tooth. So is the school still in operation? Kind of seems like it is. Ginger Tea. It's a little chilly. I don't think those were there like that. Maybe they were. So are these still people's... So are... It's still called their rooms. It's still Ash's room and his room and all that. Ingots. So are they, are, are they actually all here again now? I also, unless that's just the only way oh. Byleth has to identify them, and they're otherwise unoccupied. No. Is she still hanging out in her room? Dorothea. At least open the door. You don't need to be... You should have at least matured that much in these five years. At last, I return to my domain. My lonely paradise. My realm of exquisite solitude. <laughs> huh? Professor? Is that, um, is that you? You, um, you didn't hear that just now, did you? Oh, forget you heard anything! Advanced drills, what? Oh, for Byleth? I guess we can learn from them now. Them now, Sam Alarm. Whatever. <laughs> I still have all these lost items. They're weighing me down. It's a ton. That's that stuff I was growing. Is it still here? Because that would add up. These better be the best freaking plants in the world. It had so long to grow. Five years. Ah, oh, so close. Oh. I 
this is ridiculous. Hello. Hello. Hope the sky changes back again, though. Do you have what time for a help? request? Wow, the big one. Herring bait. I think I might do that one off screen. La, 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 la. Professor, oh my, it's so good to see you. These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing. But you, you're here. It's incredible to see you again after five years. Yeah. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. Think so? I guess that's all there is to that. Mm. Hey, quite given up on ever seeing you again. Where have you been hiding? Anyway, now that we're reunited in the land of the living, I must fulfill my promise. That's right. I promised the captain I'd protect you in his stead. And now I'll make good on my word. Too bad you aren't around to keep me from falling off a cliff. Catch the mysterious fish. Is the gatekeeper here? Have you been here this whole time or something? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. You know, it's such a thrill to be able to greet you like this again. I almost died as well in the battle five years ago. But I won't allow any enemies to get into this place again. I promise you that. Even if the Death Knight shows up, I'll be sure to... Well, for now, I'll keep training. So I can eventually feel confident that I can stop him. Yeah, you kind of sucked. Speaking of the Death Knight, we have that item, don't we? There it is. He almost, given all the story things that happened then, he almost seems like he was just kind of thrown into the battle. Well, no need to really? repair those weapons since the time skip repaired them somehow, apparently. I've got a favor to ask. A piece of history. Search for remnant that the merchant would be proud to add to their collection. I want to start a collection that chronicles the history of Fodlin, but I don't want to get my hands on anything significant on the web you excavate an archive rather than trying to find one on sale. Uh, you know we have a library, right? Onions, onions, blah, blah, blah. Hey. Onions, onions, blah, blah, blah. You, 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 you. I can't believe how long it's been since I left home. Since I was dragged out of the house, I mean. Five whole years. It's weird to think about. No. But if you'd asked me that five years ago, I'd have said the opposite. I have friends here, and I have you. The monastery's become a second home to me. Back then, I never would have dreamed a day like this would come. It's all thanks to you. You've given me a second chance at life. If not for you, I never would have gotten used to leaving my room, let alone the monastery. Maybe the battlefields just told my senses. I'm much better with strangers and new places now, You though. are? I don't panic nearly as much as before. What? Independent? As in, alone? That sounds like a tough assignment. Where did this come from all of a sudden? Hey, hold on. You're teasing me, aren't you? Please don't joke around like that anymore. It's torture for me. Professor, I'm begging you. Please promise me you won't do that again. Friends respect each other's feelings, don't they? 
good. I'll hold you to that. You're absolutely not allowed to send me out anywhere on my own. Got I thought you just didn't want me to joke. You would need to come with me. If you're with me, I can go anywhere in the world. We can ask another professor. At a distance? No, that defeats the purpose. Why can't you get what I'm saying? What are you I saying? I thought we were finally getting close. I guess I'm not good enough for that, though, am I? I'll let you have this one, but you better be ready for next time. I'm not sure which one of those exactly would have been better. The professor one definitely wouldn't have. I'll have to look at that again. Fortunately, I have another save just in case that's a problem, but I don't think it is. Has that always been like that? Yeah, I think it has. Looks so weird. It's a part of me that kind of thinks that they shouldn't even have done all this, but... It's a little uncomfortable. This is terrible. I could use a hand. Pirates have been raiding. Oh no, pirates again. Wait, why do we get pirates and rogues? Does defeat means friendship or something? This is terrible. She's dressed like like a a wild person, but then she has a hood. I need a I don't favor. Know. Some soldiers stay in the Falklands locket, abandon their posts. They aren't what you'd call upstanding folks. It'd be a real headache for the first if they became bandits and started wreaking havoc on the town. Execute them silently. Uh, soldiers obtain information about deserters. I'll do my best. But honestly, I'm not the most persuasive fellow. Well, I guess that's probably not the case. At least for the character. Caspar. Mm. Hey, Professor. You won't believe what happened. What? I figured I couldn't go back to the Empire after Garrick Mock fell, so I started drifting across the Kingdom and Alliance. Yeah. Then I just happened to run into our old class, so we came back to the monastery together. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. People are lined up and stuff. I don't think that was ever like that before. What's that about? It says it's about... Effects are enhanced with... Wait. That's everybody. Okay, okay. It's just some people like the meal or others don't. So who do you eat with who isn't an ally, exactly? It seems like there would be that difference, but... Maybe it's just... Given the circumstances, it's just kind of emotion, like... Oh, it's an ally meal, so which means it's everybody for this special occasion, because we just got back to Garrick Mock and everybody's all happy and stuff. Ferdinand, Ferdinand, you better not steal my girl, Ferdinand! Take that! Yes, I am in a hurry. Edelgard claims victory after victory. She never stops. Five years ago, she ascended the throne and swept away the corrupt nobles my father included. Ouch. I always thought I would be the one to unseat him. But she did it instead. With all the ease and indifference of someone cracking an A. She put my father under house arrest. She stripped House Iyer of its power. Rather than accepting a role as her puppet, I left. Now I fight to topple the Empire. 
The disparity between Edelgard and myself is obvious. I told you. She never stops moving forward, single-minded, never wavering. But where does that leave me? Here, flailing about, going nowhere, contributing nothing. But it is. That is the reality. Not once since our days at the Academy have I exceeded Edelgard's abilities. I saw her as a worthy opponent. She did not even see me as a contender. She did not even consider me at all. As the head of the Noble House Ire, I must be able to achieve results. But all my efforts have come to nothing. Results are everything. I have not shown results. So I will be stagnating here forever. I appreciate your kind words, but you are wrong. I know that I have a massive wall to climb, and I must climb it alone. Even I mean, you're so, pretty defensive. May I ask a favor? Professor, please keep an eye on my progress. I would appreciate if you were always by my side, bearing witness to my accomplishments. He's got a nice suit. Yeah, that helps me determine who to invite to dinner, because his is already maxed out. Professor, I am so glad you were unharmed. No and matter the well. path you walk, I will be with you every step of the way. Anything you ask of me, I shall see it through. You saved my life, and I am in your debt. I wonder if she would be saying that if... I had gone with Edelgard, and that would make an enemy of Rhea and, uh... Seteth. Hmm. Yeah. I'm more of a mercenary than a knight these days. I work to get paid. I never was too attached to Fodlan considering leaving soon but I might change my mind if you're around okay gifts lost items Catherine. in Lady Rhea's absence I will follow you that's what she would want me to do know that wherever you might lead us I'll continue searching for Lady Rhea Sims devoted good because I will not budge on that point welcome back professor Oh, thanks. Yes. Uh, they call it advanced drills now instead of instruction. Yes. I come from the Empire, but I have no intention of ever returning. This war the Emperor instigated has caused nothing but trouble and pain. I want this war to end. And that's why I'm here, fighting with you. During his search for her grace, the Archbishop, Seteth has visited churches all across the land. It served to demonstrate to the devout across Fodlan that the Church of Seros is still going strong. I wonder about that. As a result, that. the faithful are not currently in a state of chaos. If you say so. He's certainly lower than my expectations. Professor? Someone in here. Here you are. Edelgard is controlling the Empire. She is putting the pressure on the Kingdom and Alliance. Empire and religion are at open war. It will be difficult for us at first, but corrupt nobles are many. That means the common people will rebel and be joining our side. With you, Professor, the battle tides will. Uh, will turn. I have certainty. Interesting. So I wonder what determines what who what they can teach you. 
There is still more to learn. I'm looking for that tattoo. But I can't see it. Oh, that reminds me. It, well, it says king without a kingdom and not kingdom without a king. If Dimitri was killed off screen like that, I might have misheard. I thought they said they executed him or something, but that would certainly. It would be weird, such an undramatic way for him to go to just be killed through the cutscene. Not not the cutscene, rather, but the. Uh, I guess off screen is the best way to put it. So it just doesn't seem right that that would be the way that for it to be. It would certainly be bold, though. Like, on this kind of a playthrough, he'd be, like, as unimportant as a character as he could be. You know, he may as well be this guy for the amount that we interacted with him and for him to have no future, basically, after that. It's not just for my village that I'm fighting alongside you here, you know. It's also that Captain Gerald asked me, his first and greatest apprentice, to look out for you. Of course, it wouldn't be enough just to keep you alive. It's my duty to make sure you win, too. So do your best, Professor, and count on me to watch your back. Oh, shucks. Of course, the tournament would be advanced now. Sword. Yeah. Nobody is really good with a sword, actually, that we've trained. So you kind of do have to resort to Catherine, but her level is so much lower, though. Recommended 29. Okay. She has the good sword skills, but I don't know if she has the stats to back it up if they need to be 29. Okay, who is 20? Definitely not him. Okay, she's C. There, she's B. He's B. I didn't see that coming, but he's only 25. Manuela, I don't think so. Oh, she's 20. Mm. Assassin. I guess B isn't so far removed from A. I'm just gonna save and scum it. I'm not necessarily gonna, well, I just don't wanna lose it if we fail. 10. My heart burns with pride. Wow. Flip. Is that even possible the way she it, it did it? 15, 16, 32, 88% chance. Uh, this is the quarterfinals. I think she. Oh, 35. But, uh. She's not gonna miss the 88, is she? At least we're still doubling everybody. That makes things pretty decided. Decidedly in our favor, that is. Ah, cool. Each battle a victory. But let's see what he can do against the best person in the tournament besides us. He's definitely a lot stronger, but at least we double him. Or her, rather. Is this an all-lit girl tournament? 18. Yeah, with 18, it's going to take a while for them to be able to chip away at us. 
But if we can't kill her, don't we automatically... No, I, I think they we have enough time. She's pretty cute, though. I fight for justice's the, name. the colors really work in the hat. And all that. I wonder if she's the green unit. Like, Actually, the green unit would probably be better than that. I think she died, might have died. I don't know if she actually died, died. Or if it's that, uh... Maybe the green units don't die there. I mean, maybe she didn't, but she probably did. Oh, what's... Th oh, that must be the information. Well, it looks for the second level, but uh, right now... I'll probably go ahead and call this a part. So, uh, I'll just look around this top area. Obviously, is it even worth commenting on the fact that it's weird that to not have her here yeah. now? I'm really just kind of confused about the world building, though. I mean, they did kind of hand wave. I'm not sure if it's... It, it might be kind of mean to call it hand-waving, but they at least gave some kind of explanation for well, the fact that uh, this place is still operational, that the Empire, it's actually pretty inconvenient for them to, hey, you. you know, come here, and it's out of the way, so they don't actually have any tactical need to be here. Here we go, the Cardinal's room. Who's the Cardinal? Do they make the... Decide who the Pope is in here? Anyway, we'll take care of everybody up here in the next one, so see you then. Okay.